Haha, <laughs> what's up? Hey, TJ Millionaire Mentor here. And look, today we're back with another episode. So today I'm with my girl JJ. Hey, look, this is my business partner. This is my best friend. This is my heart. This is the person that I've strategized with for so many years where we built businesses, so many different businesses. We made so many different moves together. We're playing chess, baby. That's what we're doing. <laughs> hey, so stay tuned. I'm going to introduce you guys to JJ, and we're going to have a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. Here's what's up. I'm here with my girl, JJ, JJ Smith. Y'all have seen her make some cameo appearances <laughs> in other videos. Yeah, yeah. But today we're here with her to talk. Yeah, I wanted to introduce y'all to her more formally so you guys know who she was. Well, I know a lot of y'all know who she is. Right? What, but, what? Yeah, right, they know, they uh -huh. know. But I wanna make sure y'all know for real. And obviously we're here with the Rolls Royce Dawn Black Badge, which ain't my car. This is her car. I call it um, a land yacht. That's what it is. It's a land yacht. Uh. And it's her land yacht. So, Jay, this is your whip. I don't know if that's a compliment. Is this your whip? It's, it's mine. Yeah. It's mine. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. So, look, we're going to talk about the car in a minute. Okay. But before we talk about the car, let me let you guys know who JJ is. So, JJ is my business partner, right? And, you know, we call her the Michael Jordan of execution. <laughs> Yeah, because yeah. she absolutely kills it. And that's important. So you guys, I'm going to have her explain what that means in a minute, how she got that reputation. The other thing is she's a New York Times best-selling author. No, not just a best-selling author, not just an Amazon best-selling author. She's a New York Times hey, number multiple one. Times, multiple times. Number one. <laughs> Best-selling author. Come on now. You know how many books you got to sell to do that? Yeah. She sold millions, millions of, of books. books yes. You know, she's already sold millions of books. She mm -hmm. sold books in like 23 different countries, yes. in 23 different languages. Okay. And uh, what else? That's all right. You know, you know, a lot of you guys, I don't know, it's a lot of fellas that watch my channel. You might have not, you might not know, but she's on Dr. Oz all the time. She's a featured nutritionist there. She's been on Steve Harvey. She's been on, what, Rachel Ray. She's the View. Been on the View. CNN. CNN, all that everywhere, stuff, right? Yeah. She's been everywhere. Mm -hmm. So she's had a lot of success as an author. And as a person, as she's the premier weight loss coach in the world, right? So you're th you, so the key to this is what important. you do is you teach people how to lose weight, get their sexy back yes. without working out. Right. right? Like, not that working out is a bad thing. You just say it's hey, not look, a bad thing, like, right? Yeah. One of my books is called Lose Weight Without Working Out. <laughs> right. Without right? Working out. Right. right. It's about how do you eat in a in a manner that helps the body stay slim, that helps the body lose weight, right. and helps the body stay yeah. healthy. Yeah. Working out is like bonus right like that's cardio health that's like toning getting to that next level right. you know a lot of people just got to lose some weight before they worry about getting toned yeah. and i deal with let's just get some of this weight off so we have more energy we feel better about our our bodies right we're too tired to work out anybody too tired to work out <laughs> come see me i got I you. you i feel you so that's i mean that's what she does back years ago right you know when i met this woman i met her on a job interview Yes, yes. Um, 17 years ago. Imagine this woman coming in. Yes, and all that ass. Oh my God, Becky, look at her butt. It is so big. Y'all think she fine now? She was even finer. 17 years like, ago. She came in on a job interview. When she came in on a job interview, I was like, yo, look. 
I was like, hey, hey, hey. I was like, hey, can y'all hold the rest of my meetings? Because uh, our job I'm, interview I'm, I'm, I'm was busy. literally right, right. no, literally our job interview was eight hours. Yeah. Over lunch, over dinner, eight yeah. hours. Yeah. So that was not your typical job nah. interview. She came mm-hmm. in. She shut the whole thing down. Yes. We met. We had this whole job interview, and I mean, she had gone to, you know, she's been, you know, graduated top of her class. Mm-hmm. She's gone out to, uh, you know, went to HBCU Hampton. Come on now, you gotta okay. call it out. Okay. The real HU. I need you to say Hampton University. Come on now. All right. I thought Howard was the real HU. Oh my goodness! Somebody didn't told that's you a what lot. They told me. That's a lot. That's what they told There's me. There's one, the real HU, and that would be Hampton University. Right. Don't get it twisted. All right. Well, Jay went to Hampton. There it is. And then she went off to Wharton. Yeah. So she's done some things. And, mm-hmm. you know, she was having a lot of success. One of the youngest executives, yeah. you know, female executives, black executives at uh, Ascendant Corporation. Ever, yeah. Yeah. And so, mm-hmm. you know, she came in for an interview. And this was about 17 years, years ago. ago. And look, let me tell you what happened. So she came in for this interview. And I was like immediately like, Damn. <laughs> You know, Did I get the job right I away? Like that. <laughs> I was qualified on paper. You were qualified on paper. That's you were right. qualified in person. In person, I right. mean, you were disqualified. Yeah. So we hung out. We hit it off, and then we had to figure out what what we're gonna do. You came in, start working with me, and here's what I'll tell you. Mm-hmm. I remember asking this woman how much money she made, and about 17 years ago, it was about 180 grand. It was more you, than. That. It's about 180 grand. That's okay. what you wanted. I uh-huh. remember. She's like, it was more than that. Okay. <laughs> Mm-hmm. It's okay. I was I making 200 something back then, but that's okay. I think it's important for the story. Sisters need to be encouraged. It's over 200,000 and you couldn't pay me. <laughs> okay? You gotta say that shit. I mean, like, literally, I'm like 30 years old. <laughs> Start over, <laughs> is what I'm saying. Okay. <laughs> we gonna get through this, I promise you. Oh, no, it was 180 grand. I'm telling you, it was over 200. Okay. I, I know what I made when I was 30. Okay, okay, okay. Look, she's making a lot of money, right? And More so money than like, you could pay me. Right. So I was okay. like, you know, look, I can't pay you that much money. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, look, you know, I'm the only one making that much. You know what, what mm-hmm. you're talking about, right? And so, <laughs> so she went to work for somebody else. She I went up, to work for somebody we'll, else. We'll, we'll have to tell you this whole story another day. But look, hey, wait. The question I don't think people care about that story. But if they do, we can tell the story, and I'm gonna tell the story because there's your version uh-huh. and there's my version. Okay. Because I'm trying to tell you, when I was 30, I was making over two hundred thousand dollars a year. Don't play. Don't play. That's all I'm saying. But continue on. Okay, here's what I'm saying. Okay. She was getting paid. I, you right? couldn't pay and me. And then I couldn't pay. I had to put her on ice for a minute. Yeah. And then I ended up bringing her on and paying her what she what she was worth. Yes. Uh, what Eventually. She was making, right. And boy, she ain't got a raise for about 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's a joke. I'm just kidding. But anyway, she came and worked, and we built an amazing business, mm-hmm. right? We sold several. our business, right? Yeah, yeah. several businesses. Yeah. We, we had a hair business. business. Yeah. Yeah, we, yeah, we sold hair. We did a hair business. And we had a hair business. Yeah, we did that. We said real estate. We had a hair business. We had an IT business. We yeah. sold our business. Yeah. Construction business. Oh, my God. We've had so many business together. Yeah. Oh, my God. We have made so, yeah. so much money yeah, together. Yeah, yeah, so we've done that. And yeah. now, and then, and then about how many years ago? 12, 14 years ago, yeah, uh-huh. right? We started your business. And no, I think it was like 10, 8 to 10. So about, think, okay. Yeah. I don't know, I think it was about 12 years ago. Okay. It's about whatever it was. It was about 10, 12 years ago. Mm-hmm. We started another business, right, that we partnered on. Mm-hmm. And we've been killing it. Mm-hmm. And that was the business around digital publishing and marketing and yeah. coaching and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. And we've been absolutely killing it. And so, um, so Jay, <laughs> look, we call you the Michael Jordan of execution. Michael Jordan running on fumes with 45 points. At the end of the game, you gotta- Okay, that's a nickname. You, yeah, yeah, the Michael Jordan of execution. Mm-hmm. It's just crazy. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, cause you just get stuff done. So tell us why that's important, how you got that name. You know, like yeah. seriously, tell us, it's very tell us how we got here. Okay, Michael Jordan of execution, me, I get shit done. So what happens is a lot of people will start, but the problem with most people not having the success they want is they don't finish, mm-hmm. right? And what I am a master at is finishing, 
right? I can finish off projects. I can finish off people. <laughs> can finish off let me tell you finishing is the most important part mm -hmm. aspect of life right we in relationships is messy we we all gray like we can't finish anything if the relationship ain't working off finish it if the project needs to be finished finish it mm -hmm. right you idea. you want to you want to you, you write a book finish it yeah. but where people struggle with having success is they don't finish and I am masterful at finishing and the reason why is I don't think it has to be perfect like you will get 80% done mm -hmm. and yeah, you can't get the 20% because right. you're trying to perfect the 20% right. the 20% is where I spend the least amount of time because if I get 80% done and I put my best thought my best effort in it I'm gonna be finished real quick right. people can't finish and why you guys call me to Michael Jordan of execution I will run around real fast with everybody finish 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 because it's about finishing ideas projects people jobs relationships and it's about finishing so we start stuff and we can't finish so look I got a couple more questions for you and oh gonna, Lord and we're gonna get to the car because we got to get to the car I'm on a, this car that's this a nice is, car this is a boss ass car can I say this though right, right. I hate to interrupt you yeah. I am not a car person uh -huh. but I will give you credit your 118 cars oh. have forced me to really look at cars differently. And even though I say I'm not a car person, like a lot of chicks might be into handbags. I'm not into handbags, right? I'm not into nails. I'm not into getting my hair, but I'm into cars, right? Like I'll- What else are you into? <laughs> I, diamonds. I like diamonds, diamonds. Wait, wait, that's, that's not okay. the only thing. All right, look, what? Diamonds, I like diamonds, I like cars. cars sneakers. Oh that's my God! I got the best. Ba you know what you want? Oh my God! Diamonds, cars, sneakers, no, wait. diamonds, sneakers, uh, basketball, <laughs> basketball. Right? Yes. And I am. Um, you're not into I got all. Like I have all brothers. So that we. Sounds like a rapper to me. Yeah, right, right, I right, am a rapper. Right, right. She, yeah, in like my other life, I am a rapper. Right. I like diamonds, basketball, cars. But I will say, my love of cars came. Not, okay, so I always like basketball. I got brothers. I spent the majority of my time in the gym. Yeah. I probably know more about basketball than the average man, yeah. right? I know the game. I love yeah. basketball, yeah, yeah. right? But, Facts. right? Facts. But cars, mm -hmm. you, because you always bought cars and you talked to me about cars and you told me to appreciate, like how to appreciate the difference of how they drive, mm -hmm. I needed like a car for every occasion. Mm -hmm. I would have never thought 10 years ago I would have multiple cars. But you'd have three exotics today. Hey, three is a four, it doesn't matter. <laughs> but the point is, I like exotic cars because of you, because you taught me about them. So like when I saw this, I didn't want this car. Mm -hmm. We were actually picking up your Lambo, Ro SBJ, what is it? Yeah, your Rosa. SBJ. Every time I get in the SBJ, yours will be like, this is some bullshit. <laughs> oh! yeah. Somebody drove in with this car and what did I say? You see. That's Ooh. boss. That's boss. And the thing about cars is, if you can afford a car, don't drive it. Because if you drive it and you like it and yeah. you can pay for that, yeah. you're going to get it's it. Done. And the, then the guy kept saying, drive it, drive it. Nah, I'm good, I'm good. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. if I drive it and I can pay for it, right, guess right, what I'm gonna right. do? Yeah. I'm taking it out. Then but I never drove nothing like this. I mean, I got Bentleys and Ferraris, fast, but there's nothing like my land yacht. It's a cloud yeah. on the road, yeah. literally a cloud. Yeah. I never drove anything like this before. Yeah. So I had to get it. Here's the thing, for me, the, the litmus test for me whether or not I like a car or not, yeah. is if it's fun. Ah, do you find this fun? Mm. Not fun. Mm. First of all, let me say this. Mm. I let you drive the car today, earlier today, you see right? You let me drive the car. Like, you know what I mean? It was like, I let, I let you see how I said it? I, I let, let you, you drive, drive the car. car. Like, you let me drive because the car. Because you're, you're, I took you're the trained. Car and drove the damn car. What do you mean you let me drive Meaning, the car? I know you're trained mm -hmm. to drive fast mm -hmm. cars, but this, this car don't want that. It don't want that. It don't want that. <laughs> right? So when I let you drive the car, I was giving you permission to cruise. <laughs> Boy, you was cutting them corners. I was so uncomfortable. I was so nervous. Because this car literally screams, we ain't in no hurry. You see me, I'm chilling. There's nothing to rush, no reason to rush. But is the car fun? But you were trying to have fun with it, trying to cut the corners. That's not what this car is about. It's not what this car is about. And I was really taking offense to it, how you was driving it. I really was. You were taking offense? It was some bull-
I didn't like it. It's not that this you car. You were mad because no, I, was yeah. having, I was trying to have fun. It's not. This is not about having car. fun. And then you were trying I was, to. I was trying to have fun. In yeah, you were trying to car. see what it does on the curves. Yeah. It don't like to. It don't like to cut the curves like that. Yeah. It just says chill. What's the hurry? This is not about fun. This is about cruising. There is no rush. Life is good. Life is good. <laughs> you know what I mean? Let's just chill. Boy, you was coming around them corners and like, he don't, the car is telling you, don't go fast. And you. Chagarun, chagarun. Like why? It's a, it's a, it's a that's road. The, that's the whole key, right? You take any you car. You have fun you riding it slow. Wheels off the you car. You driving it. like you stole it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's so how you was driving, you driving it. Like you was you driving like it. the cops was behind you. I was you. driving like you didn't I'm know like, I had the? it. I'm driving like you, you didn't I, even I know. I couldn't appreciate mm -hmm. it. Yeah. So you got 600 horsepower, so you got to be able to keep up. But all that's for is when you're on the highway and you need to get past the car, you need a little pop. Oh, straight line speed. That's Just it. straight line speed. It, it can't go right? around the corner. Me and Rick and Thank the you, yours, buddy. we cutting them corners. We love you right there. You right there. Why are you cutting the corners in the dawn? What I say? What I say? He ain't <laughs> never getting in my car no more. He ain't, I did it. That's what she said. I ain't never. He ain't <laughs> never driving the dawn. No more. No more. No more. No. I ain't never giving him my car no more. Like, how could you keep up with the urus? You can smell it too when I got out of it. You could smell them <laughs> brakes. You know. My car don't know nothing about you know, it. I'd I be heard, on the highway. I had, I had the wheels squirreling. I see that you mad at me, right? I, I mean, you can have fun. Just chill it. I'm driving the car, right? You Just mad, keep... but I'm trying to have fun. I mean, look at the find... interior. Does yeah, this interior has... say go fast? It's all luxury. You don't even shut the doors by yourself. This, <laughs> this car ain't about speed. It's about cruising. It's about chilling. Well, so look, here's what we're about to do. We're going to ride right? in it? We're going to go for a ride. Okay. Who, because... Wait, 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 wait. Who's driving? Me. Well, look, look, let me tell you something. Seriously, who's Let driving? Let me tell you something. Let me tell you what I like I'm about this I'm not for car. that bullshit today. Let me tell you my favorite thing about this car. Oh, okay. It's the $8,000 carpet. Ah! Because right? I like taking my shoes off. The carpet and is amazing. Ass feet it's a lambskin, yeah. In the carpet. Some kind of wool. Right? So yeah. as soon as you drive this car, look. That's the best part about the car. car. You got to take the shoes off. You're right. And put your. I, I will give you that. Your, your bare it's feet the best in feeling the floor mat I've ever felt in my entire life. It ought to be. For $8,000 option, it ought to be. I mean, I mean, no, it's real cushy. It's nice. Right. It's, it's like that wop. You know what I'm saying? The floor mat is like that. No, we can't say that. Did you say it was like the No, wop? I'm saying Did it's real say gushy, it's real <laughs> soft, it's real. It's like the WAP car floor mat, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You put your feet in and you feel something. You feel some kind of way. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just ride it, y'all. You know what? You look, ain't never going to invite me back, look, are you? Look, look, we're going to have to talk about what you've done, what you've accomplished some other time. Do people care or do they care about the WAP floor mat? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> what they care about? What are we talking about? <laughs> All right, we can talk about what my let's, accomplishments. Let's like, go for a drive. All right, let's go for a drive. Yeah, let's go for a drive. All right, I'm ready. <laughs> let's go. They let me drive her car, her whip. Hey, Ricky, we're chasing fun. We're chasing fun. We're trying to figure out if this car has any fun in it. Because, you know, yeah, it's stately, it's beautiful. We know it's a Rolls Royce. We know it's the Black Badge Edition. We know it's top of the line. We know all of that. It makes a statement when you drive this car. It looks like money on the road. That's what it looks like. But. <laughs> That ain't what I drive. I drive shit that's fun. And so what we're gonna figure out right now, JJ, is if it's fun. I don't have a good feeling about this. <laughs> <laughs>
what's happening? So I remember back in the day, you were uh -huh. like, uh, you know, you had this idea. You were like, I gotta change my yes, life. Yes, I gotta, I gotta change, change my, life. my life. Yeah, and that's what you would say all the time. <laughs> I you said like, constantly. So tell me, tell me about that. Tell me what the that concept. meant to you. Yeah, okay. yeah. Okay, so when I say I gotta change my life, I'm ready for the next level. So no matter where you are in life, no matter what level of success you're at, you have to think there's always a next level, right? Life is about growth. It's about improvement. I remember I had a pastor that once said, anything that's not growing is dead. Right. Right. So I don't ever want to be dead. That means I got to be constantly growing. So when I say I want to change my life, I want to make it better personally, professionally, financially, spiritually, yeah. right? Even closer to God, I just want it to be better. So when I say I got to change my life, it means all systems go. Yeah, but it was like a dramatic thing. Yeah. And it wasn't just like, I wanted to, you were like, I said, what you working on? What you doing? I want to I I change, change my life. life. I, I want to change, change my life. It was like you a like, mantra. I want to change my life. I got to change my life. I got to change my life. Right. Like, what you working on? I'm changing my life. I got to change my life. Right. Right. Because it was the only, it was the, the most pressing and prominent thing going on in my life. And I just wanted to keep it top of my what mind. What prompted that though? Like what was the thing that made you go? I didn't, I didn't like where I lived. I didn't like the neighborhood I lived in. I didn't like the car I drove. I didn't like the people who lived in my, my building. I didn't feel safe there all the time. Mm -hmm. And so like if you live in a neighborhood, like think, imagine you drive to work in a car you don't like. You leave a neighborhood you don't like. You leave a house that you don't like. And you do this, you go to work, you stay for eight hours, you right. come home to do it all over again, right? Who, that's that's like, is that what you want your legacy to be? Is right. that how you want your life? And so when I get in a place of routine, no growth, I don't like this neighborhood, I don't like this community, I gotta change my life. And people, you gotta be dramatic about change because change doesn't come easy. A lot of times people love you, but they don't wanna see you grow because you're gonna leave them behind. You know, the thing is, is, I think sometimes people don't realize how simple yeah. it is to get to another level, to get to another place. Yeah. Because here's the thing, when you tell people how to get to another level, how to get to another place, the shit you tell them is simple. Yeah. It's not necessarily easy because it's not fun. Right. And, and it doesn't seem obvious. I mean, it's like basic stuff that you tell people. You tell people that you have to have a vision, that you have to work hard, that you have to focus, uh -huh. that you have to put things aside. You have to focus on one thing until and see it through to the end. Like that's simple stuff. Right. But people think that's like there's more magic to it. Than right. That. Right. You know, they want an answer like that's a, like magic. Yeah. A get rich quick scheme. They want. I know me and you have we we've yet to run into a get rich quick scheme. No. Everything we've ever done to be successful has required a little bit of effort and time, energy, focus. And truth be told, a lot of people ain't putting no effort in. I mean, let's be real. We got ideas, but we're not putting effort towards them. Right. Right? We're wasting time doing all kind of bull. Let me tell you something about this car, though. All right, let's talk about this car. This How car? you like my baby? How you like it? I mean, I It's way like more I, fun than that roaster. I feel, I feel like I'm a chauffeur. I oh, feel like I need to have on a hat. Yeah. You be I feel like I need a hat on. Yeah, I'm you driving. Can't, see, you can't I feel appreciate like I'm working. This ain't for you. Right. This, this ain't is, for you. This for the, the real people. I mean, it's so people. smooth, <laughs> right? You know what you I mean? Bored. Yeah. <laughs> this is, I'm like, you know, you like a, it's like a big ass land yacht. Well, put the massage on in your seat. Let the massage. I don't want the seat to massage. <laughs> <laughs> How well can the seat can massage? Can I ask you a you? question? Can your Ferrari massage your back? I don't want it to. Yeah, but a lot of people do, and I'm one of them. Because if I had a long day, I want my car to massage my back. Can your car is massage? Do you have one car to massage your back? Tell the truth. I don't care if the car massages my back. Um, but I, I, I'm going to have a masseuse come in every Friday to massage but it feels my back. Good. Ah. Pretzels <laughs> and a large popcorn. A large? You got your money. He got money. See, you, your cars don't massage your back. This car is about luxury. It's about relaxing. It ain't about speed and fun and danger. Oh my God. You know, That's like, how I feel, danger. But you, you're gonna be bored. Come, let's, let's, I'm not let's, bored. Let's see if it can do something. Let's see here. Oh, yeah. See, it don't want this. It don't want this. It don't want this. It don't want this right here. Oh no, it don't want it. One piece of information, your number one success secret, right? 
what would you give to because again you've been on you know a regular on the dr high show uh -huh. you making i mean the, the, the amount of money that you make is it's crazy it's stupid, right? right right so i know the level of success that you've had and we've had right. in business together uh -huh. uh, i know how you live your life but what would be the number one success secret for those people that's that's listening in uh, okay i'm gonna say it in two parts yeah right one is elevation requires isolation okay right and two ask yourself before you go to bed did anybody outwork me today Ooh. 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 let me tell you when i, I lay down that. at night mm -hmm. i ask myself did anybody outwork me today Mm. I'm gonna be hard pressed to find somebody that worked harder than me, I love and that. that matters to me. I love that. You I like it? That. Yeah. Because what it is, like I always like. I remember one time you said you gotta have a nemesis. Like you gotta have. Dude. A, a, Dude. Who is the nemesis? Who is the competition? But like, I look at everybody in my space. Everybody doing what I'm doing. I look at everybody trying to achieve what I'm trying to achieve. And I make sure they don't outwork me. Right, because there's talent, there's intelligence, there's effort, but are you working as hard as you possibly can? I love it. You know, so here's why I love that, because people talk about competition. Yeah. People kind of got into this place where there's no competition. That's yeah. bullshit. Yeah. There is competition. <laughs> there is competition. The okay. thing about it is, people say that, uh, I'm you know, only on my uh, competition. Yeah, competition, I'm only competing with myself. And that's great, because there's times when you get in that zone, and, that's okay. and, and it's working for you, and that's what uh -huh. you're doing. Right? But let me... But other times, check this out, yeah. other times, uh -huh. you need to create a nemesis. You yeah. need to create somebody in your head. And for me, when I was coming up, I used to always think of this one guy uh -huh. that was out there working to get my position, yeah. to, to, to do what I do, to be better than me at what I did. And I would think about that guy, and I would imagine that guy Getting up earlier. Than me. <laughs> so you're getting get up, up at a certain time. Yeah. Getting up at a certain time. Gonna beat I'm gonna beat him. Right. It's important. So I love the fact that you said that. Yeah, think about it like this. There's Amazon bestsellers, there's New York Times bestsellers. But to be a number one New York Times bestseller, that means that nobody's book in the world is selling more than yours. Nobody at that time no one so when you think about competition that mean ain't nobody selling more books than me in the whole world that's when you really locked in like i'm gonna outwork and be the best that i can be ain't nobody gonna beat me when you get there you get them lofty goals achieved like you just not an amazon bestseller you are number one new york Times. ain't nobody in the whole world yeah. selling more books than me because yeah. i know i'm on my game and right. i'm like really grinding and i lay down like ain't nobody outwork me today so you said <clears throat> Two things. Okay. When you go to sleep at night, uh -huh. you ask yourself that uh -huh. anybody I want me to. Yeah. Cause think about it. A lot of people are thinking about a lot of stuff. We might be worried about our kids. <laughs> we be worried about if he gonna text me back. I haven't heard from him. Is my husband coming home? Those are all things that might concern you. But people that are really trying to achieve the highest level of success and live their best life, they're not gonna not think about where how far did I get to pursue my goals? Like, did anybody outwork me? Did I move further toward achieving my goal? Did I do something that moved me closer to my goal? Like, if you only get stuck and worried about the kids and the husband and the family, right? Then you're not gonna also be able to give enough time to your goals. That's why for me, when I say elevation requires isolation, see, I can really be by myself for a period of time because you have to isolate yourself from family and friends to really, really, really figure out how to get to the next level. Lock in. You gotta lock in. Lock in. And like so many times, it's hard to get away from people, but you gotta carve out. Maybe you gotta get up at four, right? Just so you can have an hour to yourself to think about how do I get to the next level? Right. And I'm so, I got so comfortable with being alone and being isolated. Cause I mean, I really try to live my best life. You already know that. Oh, I gotta change my life, yeah. right? Always. But um, elevation requires isolation, and we can't be afraid to be alone, right? And be by ourselves. I love that.
Necessary. It was unnecessary. So unnecessary. Jay, look, I'm trying to burn out my tires and whatnot. No, I'm trying to figure out if the car is fun. Okay. That's the whole point. Is, is it fun? Out. Was it fun? Huh? Was you it know, fun? Did you like it? I mean, I liked it better, but you know. But you, it handled the know. curves better than you thought, though, right? Yeah, it handled the curves better than you thought, right? You had fun in the curves, didn't you? Did you like? The it wasn't fun. Bit? I feel like I'm gonna throw up right now. But you, but you liked the curves a little bit. I did not like the stuff you were doing on the curves. I mean... How can I make this clear? I did not like how you drove my car. I'm not riding with you. You get the keys no more. You are officially done with the dog. Can I be any clear? You are never driving my car again. That's it. There's nothing else to talk about. <laughs> hey, look. Guys, look. Check out JJ. She drops so many jewels, so much knowledge. She's such an amazing woman and successful person. Funny as hell, just cool. She fine too. Mm. So you guys go follow her on <laughs> Instagram, right? Yeah. And follow her on YouTube right here. She's on YouTube too. <laughs> Am I on YouTube? Yeah, you're on YouTube. You, you got your YouTube channel. I don't know. Check out the link in the bio. Okay, okay. And uh, hey Jay, thanks for hanging out and doing this. Mm -hmm. Cause I know you, you know, you be about doing some other stuff. So, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. we got to drive your big ass. <laughs> you call it big your, mama. Your, your, your big mama. <laughs> Yeah, That's the big, big booty ride right yacht. here. We got to drive the land yacht to see if it was fun. And the jury is still out because she didn't let me drive it uh. long enough, fast enough. And I can't, you know what? Nah. If I can't spin it, it ain't fun. If I can't take it out and just do donuts and stuff, it ain't quite fun. You think it would have done it though if we had more space? I think I could. It has 620 uh, pounds of torque. Yeah. Right? I think I could make it spin. I'm glad it didn't work out. That hey, Ricky, way. how about if we do it when she ain't around? I'm you down. The keys, <laughs> that will not happen. Bro, it will not happen. Yeah, I already know where the other keys are. Adios. You know what I'm she don't know. Yeah. But I know where the other keys are. Uh, <laughs> you don't. So look, Jay, this was a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. You know, she dropped all the knowledge today. But look, always, always chase your potential. Because if you do that, you cannot help but win, baby. Like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you thought about the dawn and my girl JJ. Hey. We'll talk to you soon. Peace.